What's going on there folks? Good afternoon, early evening here. It is Earthmaster on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon, California anyway. August 18, 2021, about 3.32 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Uh, activity ramping up down in Southern California, folks. Kind of be uh, on guard and alert with all this activity taking place around the globe recently. And the lack of activity in Southern California, it's a good idea to be prepared for something uh, popping off there. It looks like 4.0, the uh, largest in the sequence of uh, earthquakes in the Southern California region. Uh, take a look here at this map on the USGS scale. Let's go ahead and bring this down to all magnitudes. You guys can see the activity that I'm talking about. Kind of on the southwestern side of the Salton Sea area. Of course, you got the... Uh, San Andreas Fault System, the plate boundary, right, between the North American and the Pacific Plate to the west. We see quite a bit of swarms over here uh, in months and years past, but now we're looking at uh, a little bit of activity taking place here uh, around the Akato Wells area. Uh, a cluster of quakes. Looks like about uh, at least 19 earthquakes so far, and I can kind of say this is a swarm. And the reason why I call this a swarm uh, compared to other, um, you know, groups of earthquakes is that, well, there, there's really no main quake. It's not like we've seen a 4.0 and then all of a sudden we got a bunch of aftershocks. That would be, uh, that would kind of be like a, you know, just a 4.0 with aftershocks. But this here, um, we don't, I don't think we have a main quake yet. Kind of started off here with 1.9, 2.8. So far in this cluster of quakes, we've got a 4.0 followed up by a 3.8. So pressure down here in the Southern California area ramping up pretty significantly. I just don't think we've seen a main quake yet. Uh, and also looking at the depth of these earthquakes here, uh, all the way from, uh, well, 1.9 kilometers, looks like down to about five, seven, uh, maybe almost eight kilometers or so for some of these earthquakes tell me that there's a whole bunch of movement uh, taking place here, uh, not only at the surface area, but also ground area and regionally uh, not uh, below the ground, I should say, um, and also regionally here in the Southern California area. Uh, latest one, it looks like, or at least to the northwest of there, 0.8 uh, at about eight kilometers. I don't really see anything specific on the fault structures out here. Um, looks like the uh, closest one's going to be the, uh, which one is this? I can't remember what this one's called. Oh, well, don't, San Jacinto Fault System. Well, that's way over to the west here, way over to the west. Um, what we can do is pull up the uh, fault systems for Southern California on a little bit different uh, view here. This, this map kind of includes a lot more than what you see on the USGS map. So we just got to find that system here. Uh, let's see, let's double check here. Do, 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 do. West Mesa Superstition Hills. So we got to find that creek area. Right up here. Looks like right about in this area here. Um, just below that bend. So it looks like potentially around this region here. Whatever this fault system is. What do we got here? I'm not too familiar. Unnamed fault. It's an unnamed fault system where this uh, swarm has taken place. Looks like it was last studied back in 2009. Um, so not a whole lot of information on this specific fault structure here. Uh, just a bunch of unnamed faults. What's this black one here? Unnamed faults. There's part of the San Jacinto fault area, the Superstition Hills section. Uh, but either way, folks, definitely a lot of uh, build up here. These are these uh, fault systems are kind of what southwest and northeast type fashion compared to the uh, the plate boundary um, of the San Andreas Fault over here, and also other areas to the west. So definitely uh, some interesting activity taking place here. We're going to watch this pretty closely. Um, as uh, any type of swarm like this in Southern Cal, definitely a uh, uh, something to keep an eye on. Looks like, uh, what do we got far as towns go? Ocotillo Wells. I'm kind of curious to see how many people felt this quake. Uh, 
the, the main one so far, a 4.0, looks like uh, about seven kilometers below the surface. A few folks reported filling it. Here is the focal mechanism. It has been reviewed. I'm gonna check out the waveforms real quick, see if it'll let me, because um, I did not see this earthquake when it came into the seismograph stations. So, okay, so there's the 4.0. I'm guessing this here is the other one, the uh, 3.8. Wow. So yeah, definitely uh, some interesting activity taking place down there. I'll keep a close eye on Southern Cal pretty closely. I do have the station around Barrett. Uh, which is somewhere around this area, believe it or not. The station that I run on the, uh, the, uh, ch -ch 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 on this, on the live seismographs, is going to be that station right here. Barrett, that's right around the epicenter. Look at that little after, well, another earthquake and the swarm of activity taking place here uh, around the Ocotillo, uh, Oc Ocotillo, Oc Ocotillo Wells. I can spit it out. I had a cup of coffee and I had uh, a Red Bull today, so I'm a little bit on the jittery side. But that's okay. Um, and it could have something to do with all the smoke kicking up here in the valley. So, heads up, folks. Just be on guard. There was a little bit of activity up here around the Mount Lassen area um, yesterday that has since dropped off the map, it looks like. Uh, West Coast... Um, for the most part, looks, you know, kind of like an average day right now, but uh, definitely keep an eye on that swarm. Pacific Northwest region, uh, not a whole lot of movement. We've seen this earthquake last night, uh, 3.1, I believe. That was from last night in the Cascadia Basin. Intermountain West region getting some movement as well. Also a swarm of activity stretching all the way across this area from Texas into uh, Oklahoma, into the New Madrid fault system, all the way over here to the uh, Appalachian Mountains in Tennessee. So something brewing out there, quite a bit of movement actually. Even a little earthquake up here around the uh, Boston area, 1.3. Pretty crazy activity ramping up here. We'll be back a little bit later folks uh, with a complete update video including all the activity still kicking up in the South Sandwich Islands. Looks like a 5.9, the latest in the uh, in that series of uh, earthquakes down there. So kind of waiting for something to pop off down here in the south part. We've seen the 8.1 uh, right around here and the 7.5 to the north. Uh, and then we've seen a large cluster of earthquakes by themselves here in this area into the subduction zone. Uh, so very possible we could see something uh, up around that seven, eight range for this southern part of the, uh, uh, the, uh, the um, plate boundary here between the sandwich plate and the uh, South American plate. Actually, this whole area should just be watched right now. Still, a lot of seismic activity taking place. All right, folks, have a good day. We will chat to you guys a little bit later tonight, unless something else happens. We'll see you guys later for the update video. Peace out.